I'm here on the Exploratory Museum floor. Actually, you're looking at one of our walls over here. Behind me is an exhibit called Bird in a Cage. It uses the human phenomenon called afterimage to do some amazing things with your eye-brain system. I'm going to give you a challenge. Do you think you can make that green bird appear in that cage by only using your eyes? Let's see if we can do it. Ready? Start staring at it. Keep staring. Don't look away. What did you see? Did you see the same bird? I don't think so. I tricked you. Not only was it not the same bird, but it wasn't even the same color. It was an image put there by your mind. If you want to figure out how this exhibit works, or how you can do this at home or in a school, stick around and I'll show you how to do it. You only need a few basic materials to do this experiment. An assortment of colored pens or pencils, or maybe some colored sticky dots, white paper, and you should also have a black pen on hand. I'm gonna do this activity very simply. I've got a yellow sticky dot with a very small dark dot right in the center to help me with my focus. So what you're going to do is you're gonna stare at that dot for 20 seconds, and then after you're done, you're gonna look at this white card and see what you see. Before I do this, why don't you make a prediction as to what you're going to see in place of the yellow dot. When I say go, you're going to start staring at the yellow dot. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20. What did you see? Did you see a blue circle like most people? That's called an afterimage. The interesting thing is that with a yellow dot, you get a blue afterimage. Your eye brain system is really amazing. You interpret information from the signals you get and other sensations around you. I'm going to try to explain what is happening in your eye brain system. In the back of your eye, you have millions of receptors for color but you only have three types. You have receptors for green, red, and blue color in the back of your eye. When you look at something, you are stimulating one, two, or all three of these receptors on the back of your eye. If you look at something green, the green receptor is stimulated, sends a signal to the back of your eye, and your brain says, I see green, likewise with blue or red. In this case, you were looking at something that was yellow. Since you don't have a receptor for yellow, you have a shortcut in your eye brain system. When you see yellow, you stimulate your green and your red receptors. When these are stimulated, your brain makes it up and says, I see yellow. In order to see white, you stimulate all three of these cones in equal proportion. Turns out all colors you see are caused by these being stimulated in various proportions. So now I'm going to explain the after images. Turns out, we're not exactly sure what's going on. It's really complicated because you have so many processes going on up there. I'm going to use a simple model, and I'm going to use the term fatiguing, or toning down some of the signals in your vision. When you look at something yellow, you are stimulating your green and your red receptors. If you stare at it for a long time, in essence, you're fatiguing them. When you look at something that's white, you would like to stimulate all three receptors, your red, your green, your blue receptors. But since you fatigued your green and your red receptor, the only one that's able to send the strongest signal is blue. That's why you see a blue afterimage when you look at something that's yellow. Now that you understand the model, what do you think would happen if you stared at something that was red for a long time? And then you looked at something that was white. Experiment. Have fun. See what you can see and see what your brain can interpret about that afterimage. Here's other fun things to try. Try other colors. Try other shapes. 
try multiple colors, multiple shapes. Make up whatever you want. When you're doing this, try making a prediction about what you're going to see before you see your after image. You can even try, instead of a white background, try other colored backgrounds. See what happens. But whatever you do, have fun doing it. I'll see you in the after image.